Keisha Knight Pulliam started working when she was still in diapers and would go on to become an Emmy-nominated actress when she was just six years old. After the role that made her famous was over, she continued working, completed her education, and, unlike many other child stars, managed to stay completely scandal-free. That wouldn't be the case forever, though, as she eventually had to publicly deal with some personal drama that would test her in ways she never imagined. American actress Keisha Knight Pulliam was born in Newark, New Jersey, the oldest of four and the only girl. She made her professional debut at eight months old in a national print advertisement for Johnson & Johnson baby products. By age three, she would become a series regular, appearing in a number of episodes over the next couple of years on the educational children's television series, Sesame Street. Two years later, in 1984, she would land the role she would become best known for as Rudy Huxtable on the number one hit sitcom, The Cosby Show. She would play the role for the entire eight-year run of the show. Keisha became the youngest actress to be nominated for an Emmy Award, receiving a nomination at age six for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. After The Cosby Show came to an end, she continued working, appearing in television commercials, TV shows, and films. Keisha also pursued higher education and received a Bachelor of Arts degree in Sociology from Spelman College in 2001. Also at this time, she began a streak of appearing on various reality TV shows, such as Fear Factor, The Weakest Link, and Celebrity Mole, Yucatan. If Cosby Show fans weren't aware of just how grown up little Rudy was now, they would find out when she was featured in a 2004 spread in Black Men Magazine. The following year, she played the role of Darnell in the comedy film Beauty Shop with Queen Latifah. In 2008, she started her own production company and began what would be another long-standing TV role when she joined the cast of the Tyler Perry sitcom House of Pain. The role earned her several NAACP Image Awards for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Keisha then took on a very outside-the-box role playing a prostitute in another Tyler Perry production, his 2009 comedy drama film, Medea Goes to Jail. In 2010, Keisha established Camp Kizzy, a nonprofit organization with the goal to inspire, empower, and develop youth between the ages of 11 to 16. Three years later, she returned to reality TV again, this time as a contestant on the celebrity diving show, Splash. Unfortunately, she was first to be eliminated. Also that year, Keisha began one of her more high-profile relationships when she began dating radio and TV personality Darian Morgan, better known as Big Tigger. She became a contestant on The Celebrity Apprentice Season 7 a couple of years later. Keisha followed in her splash footsteps becoming, again, the first person eliminated after being the losing project manager for her team. Keisha decided to then give podcasting a try and debuted her very own show called Candidly Keisha in 2015. On New Year's Eve that year, Keisha shocked many fans after becoming engaged to former NFL linebacker Ed Hartwell after dating for four months. A major reason for the surprise was that people were under the impression that she was still in a relationship with Big Tigger. He even started receiving an abundance of congratulatory messages from his friends. Apparently, he and Keisha quietly ended their relationship several months before Ed came into the picture. And thanks to Us Weekly running the story alongside a photo of Tigger instead of Ed, people naturally assumed Tigger was the groom-to-be. Keisha and Ed were married the very next day after the engagement, January 1st, in her Atlanta home. The honeymoon, however, would be over just as fast. Just six months later, Ed would file for divorce. Prior to this news, Keisha had recently revealed that she was pregnant. After the divorce bombshell, she spoke out about Ed accusing her of being unfaithful in their marriage in an exclusive interview with Entertainment Tonight. He also requested a DNA test to prove paternity. Keisha maintained that it was actually Ed who stepped out of their marriage, not her. After he confessed his indiscretions, she initially took steps to initiate a divorce. Ed's apologies and promises, though, convinced her to reconsider only for him to turn around and file for divorce himself. Ed told his side of the story to Page Six, saying that Keisha was adamant about getting married and having a baby right away. He claimed that he wanted to slow things down and that he wasn't sure if he was truly in love with her. 
He added that paternity of the baby was in question because they had stopped having relations due to her steadfastness about having a child. She also frequently stayed out late as well as traveled out of town and didn't keep in touch with him. He even had thoughts of the baby possibly belonging to ex-boyfriend Big Tigger. Keisha would give birth to their daughter in January 2017. Their divorce was finalized in April the following year. Keisha received primary custody of their child, and Ed was ordered to pay child support of about $3,000 a month. No matter what was going on in Keisha's personal life, she was not going to let that stop her from accomplishing her professional goals. She tapped into her love of food and cooking and started Keisha's Kitchen Company, which offers several types of dried spice blends, which can be added to a variety of dishes. Later that year, Keisha was seen by Bill Cosby's side as she supported him during his sexual assault trial. She spoke publicly that while she doesn't condone sexual assault in any form, she believes that a person is innocent until proven guilty, and that's not the man she experienced. In 2018, Keisha was a house guest on the first season of Celebrity Big Brother. She would be the second person evicted from the house. Then, Lifetime came calling. Over the next two years, she starred in several movies for the television network. In 2019, Keisha and her business partner, Ari and Simone, founded the Fearless Fund. With less than 1% of venture capital given to women of color in the U.S., the company's mission is to support early stage businesses with the tools they need to access funding. Since forming, they've committed to investing millions in pre-seed, seed, and Series A startups led by women of color. The following year, more drama between Keisha and Ed Hartwell would start up again. Online gossip and entertainment magazine Bossip reported that Keisha had accused her ex-husband of being a deadbeat father and failing to provide for their child to the tune of almost $32,000. She also wanted him behind bars for the offense. Keisha's personal life would take a happy turn in December of that year when she became engaged to actor Brad James. They began dating the year before after working together on the set of the TV movie Pride and Prejudice Atlanta. They actually already met a couple of times before then, but Keisha admits that she didn't remember the interaction. 2021 would turn out to be a very productive and positive year for Keisha. She's still a part of the House of Pain family that is currently airing its 10th season. In May, she became the new global education ambassador for hair care and beauty brand Myel Organics. The company joined forces with Rutgers University and the Newark Business Hub to provide chances for select aspiring black women entrepreneurs to receive educational business support and an opportunity to compete for funding of their ventures. The brand's founder and CEO, Monique Rodriguez, said Keisha was selected because of her passion for providing opportunities for mentorship, education, and venture capital for Black women. Keisha also finally found her happily ever after with Brad this year when they married on October 2nd. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.